friends, so we get ready to eat. Um, we got some goldies, some goldies food. Um, so come on in, come on in, come on in. We got some food. So this is my first time eating with them. I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything, and then uh, me and my mom we gonna share. It. She won't be on camera, but I will. So depending on when you seeing this video, yes, um, I did stop my. Um, I had messed up on my. Uh, I think I just shared it with y'all before if y'all was watching. I messed up on my um, alkaline diet by eating some cabbage. I thought it was on the list and it wasn't. So this week I just was eating whatever I want. Plus, you know, a girls moment. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, ladies moment, girls moment, whatever. Y'all get the drill. So um, I will pick it back up on Monday. And this video is on Saturday. So I was like, well, let me eat all my favorites while I can until I be back to that very, very, very strict diet. All right, y'all, so let's get into these bags. All right, so these are the bags, and we about to get open. Get them open. Guys, so we have the um, three lamb chops glazed with some um, yellow rice and broccoli, chicken and shrimp quesadillas. Um, this is the um, lump crab meat and shrimps and salmon pasta is called the goldie special and here we have the honeydew um with the white crab meat shrimps the pasta egg and corn so i'm a seafood lover i hear this food is delicious so i just wanted to show you guys before i played it because me and my mom get ready to separate it so um then we'll be back for a little mukbang all right so hold tight hold tight Oh shoot, I didn't hit. Alright, hi y'all. So um my mom is here but she ain't gonna be on here. But that's she already said the grace. Okay. <laughs> y'all, she was so hungry she forgot she just put her pill on the plate. And she had put food on there. I probably needed to heat my food back up. But when you're hungry, you're hungry. I have to wait for the door dash, man. So it's chicken and shrimp. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, my dad ain't so loud on here. You heard. But what's been going on, y'all? What's been going on? Ma, you like it so far? Everything I've tasted so far has been okay. Mm. It tastes good in the bomb. Hmm? It tastes good in the bomb. The case Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Cooking all this different stuff, so I'm left with my stomach. Mmm. You know. Yeah, we heard the grouper. The sauce is good. It's crazy. How, how was the um? Let me taste it yet. Oh, you ain't taste it. Let me taste that. Mm. The broccoli is good. Oh yeah. If you like sweetness, I always show you that. If you like a nice glaze on your um lamb shot, it's good. It's sweet. Mm. Hopefully, it's not too sweet for you. Mm -hmm. If not, it'll get you. I know. Okay, I will tear it right on up. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna dig it in some more sauce. Mm -hmm. But yellow rice is good. Mm -hmm. I haven't got to the sand yet. I didn't eat that already. The rice. I'm digging. 
digging it back in some of this uh, glaze. I didn't get that seafood bulb they had one, but since that other food tastes good, I might try. I probably won't do DoorDash this time. Probably go pick it up myself. Mm -hmm. Well, it's too darn cold up in here. Mm -hmm. And that one blowing like, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. business. Mm, 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 mm. Where my crab meat at? As long as the wind keep blowing the internet out. I go in there and turn it on. I had did that earlier. Yeah, I'm not on. I'm on camera. If you want to work with it, you can. Oh, I thought we were going to run. Do I need to turn it on and off? Sometimes mm -hmm. they'll come back on. Mm -hmm. Would you like less talking, more eating? Mm hmm. I'm going to get some more water. That was good. Mm hmm. It's good. I'm getting full. I wish some spinach mixed in the um, mm -hmm. noodles. Like I said, we'll have some of this for tomorrow, too. Mm -hmm. Dinner for me. Mm-hmm. I say it's salmon. Mm-hmm. It has like a rich but spicy taste. You taste the salmon yet? No, I ain't taste the salmon yet. But I ate enough pasta and Rice and broccoli, lamb chop, a one of them. Crab, meat, little taste it. Taste the D, I'm gonna finish that. Mmm, what's the truck? I ate the chef. Mmm. It is the bomb. Yeah, I'm on the food now. I'm about to go. I got burnt. Mm -mm -mm. It's taking long to fill me up. Mm -mm -mm. I got dinner for tomorrow, all these containers. This should be gone. If I save that little piece. The yellow rice was good too, y'all. Mm -hmm. That why lamb chops are so expensive. Mm -hmm. One thing that fills you up fast is the pasta. A lot of pasta. Pasta fills me up. Mm hmm.
Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm trying to get all my lamb off of there, y'all. Mm hmm. Me too. You ain't got to clean that bone, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> clean that up a soil. Mm hmm. I would paid for the bone, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm shocked. Look at the bone. Look at that meat. That's just like, like a chicken wing. They'd be like twenty something dollars for a pack. That's just like the chicken wing. It's the the least meat it costs the most. Like the brass will cost the most, but the wing, the smallest, cost more than the brass. That's the big one. Yeah, y'all. The shrimps. All right, I'm full. All right, Michelle. Ooh, la, la, la. Yeah, that's a feast. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, it probably been a little bit better if I had heated it up. We had time. No. We had time. I agree, y'all. I'll work tomorrow, I'm going to heat it up. It's going to be real good. That's all I'm concerned. This dinner. This is black owned business. Mm -hmm. For black history, my everybody. Support a black business. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <clears throat> Eat my vegetables. I got the uh, broccoli. Y'all know. <coughs> and a lamb chop. Make my to keep this thing. And I need some more stuff from pasta and I got my rice. Mm -hmm. Ate my whole thing to do. Nothing, nothing, man. I didn't even have time. So far, the thing I ate was good. Good, it's good, 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 good. I just pulled the four over that. Good. But I'll pull the same plate out tomorrow. He did out in good time. I ain't even got to go in there. It'll go right off of here. Not a pasta. In the morning, I'll eat that pancake. Pan I'm going to finish eating. I didn't do it the day before. They breakfast it was very good. I'm feeling that was feeling. Just the egg, y'all. Oh, I must have ate mine. Mm. I don't know, man. You was throwing down over there. Mm -hmm. Before me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
You ain't gonna get back and play that? <laughs> you know how we do? Mm-hmm. I can't see that night at. I'm quiet. Oh, boy. I didn't taste the salmon, but I sure put up the um, shrimp and um lamb chop. I'm fucking on. I'm gonna be careful. I'm so cold. I feel like a chill on this side. So I'm being outside at one minute. You getting full too, like it? Mm hmm. Really? Oh. I think my can feel me right now. Alright, y'all, we're almost done. We're almost done. I got less talking and more eating today. For this mukbang. I don't see how some y'all. And them other people be eating a whole lot on the time. I'm full already. And even when I drink some um, water. Alright, so this is what I got coming up. And then I'll be done. It's a little bit spicy, but it's still got a little kick. Got a little pungent too. Mm hmm. The salmon, I didn't taste that. No, the sauce, period. Y'all, we almost done. Almost done. Brush my quesadilla and my shrimp. <clears throat> Y'all might look at that. Ah, it is. So, um, we still got a lot of food left, y'all. We still have a lot of food left. Um, I end up getting, but y'all saw what I got. So, um, yeah, so that, that was a lot of us, but the intent was to make sure we had something for tomorrow so neither one of us I had to cook but I probably will have two to do some prep for when I go back um <clears throat> excuse me y'all when I go back to my alkaline and I know I didn't put on those pounds that I lost but I'll be better I should have been while I'm doing this time still trying to make some of them um recipes with though I can see what they taste like. I hate wasting food, but my taste buds are just like, no, 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 no. And I want them to be like, yes, 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 yes. 
Yeah. And so, like the basil. I don't know if I said this, but like even when I'm shopping in the store, that stuff be making my nose run. And now you want me to put it in something? No, but I gotta use up the rest of my cilantro before it um for um it's gone. Mm, before we go back. Because I love me the cilantro. I love the smell of it and everything. So that is um good. I love that. Like, oh my gosh. I put it in my spaghetti sauce this time. And it was popping. Like, okay, okay. That's what we doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can eat this. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Yeah, I know, silly, y'all, but y'all see how I tore that bone up. <laughs> I was like, lamb chops be, lamb chops be too darn expensive. You won't give me all of it. All the way down to the nitty gritty, baby. All the way down to the nitty gritty. Now, I'm still waiting for my friend, but I know I probably won't be able to get it. It'll probably be when there be another time when I, um go back to eating regular food but one thing I can say as I was on it certain things I can tell was like changing like even though I still had like the acid reflux it wasn't as bad as it is back to me eating the regular food and then um you do start realizing you have a little bit more energy than what you do so um i actually like it so i'm gonna continue with it um try to do three months straight and then like i said before i might just do um plant-based may not be as strict but um i think um <clears throat> this is a plan something that i do want to stick with and um you know and if i do eat meat it'll be like once in a blue moon um definitely not no pork or beef but um something like chicken or seafood yeah because um i did feel my body feeling a little bit better i mean it might not have been like the whole dramatic change but i did notice a change and um it's just finding what works the trial and error but uh now i have been as i've been looking on youtube i have found somebody else who do um the alkaline now they are some like imp i call them imposters because they be saying it's alkaline but they're not following dr sabi's um list completely and then add a little this and all that. Look, I want it to be strictly that because I want my body to get alkaline. I want it to be healed from the inside out. And the only thing I am missing is the tea, the herbs. So um, that's what I need to work on getting. Um, I probably need to find like a, um, we always be like, I will say a Caribbean store. Um, so I can get some of these herbs. And I do have a book that helps me figure out which herbs is for what. Um, and I might can find some herbal tea in the store. I definitely want like some raspberry so I can make a, a big like cold drink of it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause sometimes I, um, you know, like a soda or a juice, you know. So since I can't do sodas, I do need to have like some herbal tea. That you know, I could drink, you know, every now and then you want know, something, you know, different that you can drink other than just water. I do be making uh smoothies, but like sometimes they be thick, but ooh, let me tell you that berry one with the strawberry, I think it's blackberry in there, blueberry, and raspberry. I think that's what it is. Oh my gosh, that that be off the hook. I be tearing that up and put my sea moss in there. Shh. Man, I be having like so much energy. I I love that one. That was like my favorite one. Only thing about that is I gotta 
strain it because them little pieces be in there. Oh my gosh. So that'd be like my hold up sometimes. And sometimes I may have it too thick with though it don't be going through the thing fast enough. And then I gotta like scrape some of it and then wash the uh the strain out and go back to pulling it through because all them little darn little tiny seeds and things. Sometimes there still be some in it, but it don't be as much as you know if I didn't do it. But yeah, um, so I just gotta find like some other things. Like I'm interested in making maybe some um some little bars with the agave and um some walnuts, you know. See if I can make some type of bowls with them and put them mm, either bowls or like bars. I'm not gonna say bowls, but bars. Like a granola type of bar, but just with that, so it can stick the um stick the guy in and like cut it, um, cause that's something I could eat like uh, a certain time of the month, you know. It's like I can't do like certain tastes, and I think that's what was getting me, um, cause the smell of the walnut balls and uh mushroom together my meatballs oh my gosh it was making my stomach hurt it was making me sick on the stomach and then as I was eating it it was just tasting too nutty and I don't you know when I'm not into the, the nuts that like that you know maybe like a peanut or an almond you know but the almond like in the chocolate and stuff like I can't even have chocolate I gotta see what I can do y'all it's it is something, but I mean, I know y'all probably like hear me talk about it and heard me on the other video talking about I want a piece of chicken. But, um, I mean, that's just something you're going to do, especially if you, you know, that's something that you like. I, I was liking chicken when I was a baby. That's in my book, one of my favorite foods. So, of course, I'm going to like chicken, but I can do without the chicken. Um, I, they were saying how certain type of mushrooms you can make it taste like chicken. Um, I was trying to get that other type of mushroom. Um, I haven't got it yet, but I did tell y'all the other ones taste like chicken livers. <laughs> but they were still good. Now, I didn't eat chicken livers. Like if I, I, I would have to cook it for like my grandfather and my family. So I would like take the very like little piece little tiny piece in and I like eat it because they said liver good for you whatever so I would just eat that little piece but like them big pieces and stuff and no it would just be that little tiny piece that's like fried with like you can't even taste nothing that's what I would eat so um yeah so it, it was tasting like and then as it was pulling apart or whatever I could see how it was tasting like um chicken and then I gotta learn how to make some chickpea um some chickpea fries and I could do onion rings I'm happy about that so I'm gonna break me up some um, onions off the thing chop them off or whatever and put those little circles and some um, flour and um, fry them up cuz one day around that time I was just like I was frying every darn thing I was just like <laughs> Yo, I gotta make this taste like some soul food or something so I can get this stuff down if this is what I'm gonna be eating. But, um, I don't always like, you know, a lot of fried foods. I could, you know, I like light stuff. But I just had to. So, I'm gonna um, see what I can do. See if I can, um, make me like a chicken fried rice with the, um, with the mushrooms and um, the onions and the, the wild rice because I can have wild rice. I haven't tried it because I'm like thinking that um, I could just go ahead and cook it and put it like in a, like something like how you would do some rice around it. But uh, people be like, well, that's how you cook wild rice. You got to let it soak for a day. I'm like, I got to soak the rice? Well, I got to soak the rice. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, I can't just boil it, like fry it, then boil it like some rice around me. <laughs> yeah, but, um, I think it's called Ty, Ty Conscious or something. I know his name is Ty. He has 
helped me a lot with his uh, recipes, him and his um, wife and family. I don't even think they even be on it anymore. I think he might have just dropped the video. I guess he probably see me going on there so many times. Like, oh, my rating's going back up. Because I'm like, Ty, I got to see how to make this stuff. So I'm like going from his uh, YouTube channel to his website when he's, when he's selling his stuff. And I'm just like, thank God for Ty. Ty, if you ever catch my video, thank you. And then as I'm going on, I found some other people here and there. Then it's like this um, interracial couple. Um, they do an amazing job as well. Um, they call it blended something. I forgot. But thank God for them too because they be showing me different ways how I could do stuff. It's a little bit different than Thai. And then it be some other Okay, so they on um, the blended people. Mm, they call it blended something. So they're a little bit different than Thai. So thank God for them too, cause I'm able to, you know, see other people recipes and you know, of course, come up with my own in the midst of it. And then I've been finding some other ones. So as I find the channels, I'm I'm grateful because I I gotta eat. Live, my, I used to say this saying, live to eat, eat to live, you know, so, I gotta eat. I was so happy I was able to get some popcorn today, because, you know, popcorn is definitely not on the list. Um, I have been having issues with drinking the one gallon of water. I'm going to try to work on that. I'll be trying, but, I don't know. I was like that before even the thing. Um... But I have been able to do my smoothie like one every day. Um, yesterday I might have had like a half of one, but that was because my day got flipped up because I um had to go and um with my um mom to take my grandfather back to um a doctor's appointment. So it was something that they did the day before wasn't completely done right or something. So we had to take them back the next day so it could get situated, you know, get the situation fixed. So, um, but I was just tired, literally like tired. So I didn't get a chance to make this movie. Like I was running behind, like I was dragging, I was dragging my feet. But um, we made it on time and um, everything worked out. I mean, I left out the house in time, but I just didn't have enough time to do my smoothie. So when I got home, I ate and then later on I did the smoothie where normally I had the smoothie for my breakfast. <sighs> so, y'all. And another thing I'm having, it's like a hard time getting this the stuff that I need. Like even like in the stores, like they don't have it and I'm like, I need y'all to help a sister out. So like when I buy stuff, I gotta buy a lot of it. Especially that spout flour. I'm like, what the then then the Taff, turf, whatever. Hemp seeds. Like, what is going on here? So, I'm getting ready to do another order. Um, the, the noodles, like spaghetti noodles, like they always had the spir spiral ones, but not like the, you know, the long spaghetti noodles. And I'm just like, come on, help us just out. Like, I'm going through some things. So, one thing I know for sure, I'm going to be eating a lot of spaghetti. A lot of spaghetti. And tomato sauce is not good but um, for my stomach. But if it alkaline, then it should be good. And I just need to find the herbs. And um, I probably need to de uh, what is it, detoxify my body. So I'm looking on the website. like I'm trying to find people or um, YouTube like, saying, like, is his product still, like, the same? That he's no longer here? Or are they a little bit different? Like, I need to know. And if I don't get their stuff, then I'll just have to do the herbs myself. And, um, man, it'd be nice to really find a, a herbless, you know. Because, uh, and like you, if you say, let me go contact his wife, that man had about like five and what? <laughs> no, but it was a lot of them. Um,. I think like two be talked about a lot 
like the one when he first started the company and have his children because he has a lot of children then it was like the wife he had I think before he died so I know about them for sure it might have been some more I don't know I ain't trying to lie on the person but I know it was two because it was that Tasha K had the one that's not getting a lot of recognition um, on her show and then it's the another the other one now that I think they be talking with a lot when they was um I don't know if the movie is out or not, but I know they was doing like a documentary or a movie or something about it about him so um it's interesting and then it was funny because uh I was watching something and somehow it popped up with Lunell. When they had a comedian, um, kind of short, heavy set with the long nails and the short blonde hair. Um, she was talking to some guy, and all right, so it cut off. So I'm gonna hurry and make this quick. So anyway, she was talking to some guy because she was saying she was doing a diet, and the man was saying everything that Doctor Savy said was false. I don't believe him, and I didn't appreciate that. And he was like, "Well, the court, none of us proven. He can go and check the records. He looked the stuff up, and none of the cases is uh proven to be true." <sighs> that man. I don't know, but I believe in Dr. Sabi, and I believe his stuff is true, and a lot of people went on there and felt good. I mean, Lisa Lopez was there before she died, and she was telling her mother about it, and her mother was on there. So, it's like different interviews if you go on there and um, look on uh, social media, and they talk about how, you know, they've been healed and how stuff has helped them, you know, while they was there. So, that man, I think he need to get his facts straight. I don't know who he is, and I don't want to know who he is. <clears throat> Well, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because my camera had cut off twice. One time it cut off and then I started back recording. And then this second time when it cut off, it was saying that it had got overheated. So, as always, thank you for tuning in to Come Bling With Me. Let your light shine in every aspect of your life. And until next time, shine and bling on.